Welcome back mm -hmm. to Summit Sunrise. Again, it's your Friday edition, and I'm here with Henry Barr. Now, I don't know if you can see what's the, the kind of the standoff that's going on here between Chaco and Henry, <laughs> uh, but it is Bring your, your Dog to Work Day, and Chaco loves it when Henry comes to work <laughs> because he's one of his favorite people. And, uh, and I, think, I think it's just so telling when, you can, when animals love you as much as they do, Henry. Mm -hmm. I think it just says so much about who you are and the kind of guy that you are, and you're definitely the kind of guy that I would want to trust when it comes to making a giant purchase like well, real estate. I appreciate that and that's sort of what you see is what you get. That's yeah. you know been that, that way for thirty five years. So So and, thirty five years you've been doing this. Yeah, so. What uh, what is it that keeps you in the real estate game? What do you love so much about it? Um, I really like meeting the new people and um, basically sharing the experiences of Summit County, the history of Summit County, the uh, the fun of Summit County, the advantages of it. Um, you know People, you know, sometimes complain about our prices, but then again, I have to sometimes really talk to people and say, do you understand we're in one of the top 10 destinations in the United States? Um, you know, we're competing, you know, with Hawaii. We're competing with the, you know, other, you know, on the beaches in California. We're competing absolutely with the top 10 places that people want to go in the United States. And uh, there's a real advantage to that. And the, the fun for me is getting out every day and showing people, mm -hmm. new people, the things of that, if we're here long enough, sometimes we just gloss over them and just take them for granted, mm -hmm. and they're really not to be taken for granted if you leave Summit County. Oh yeah, definitely not. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny because I'll, I'll go out and I'll and I'll leave here on vacation, mm -hmm. and then it's like I, I come back and I'm like, I'm so glad I live here. You know? Yeah. I mean, and, and the thing we I always say is it doesn't matter wh what month of year you leave Summit County. It's either snowing at or th leaving or coming back through the tunnel. It doesn't matter, it, whatever month of the year. But again, there's always something nice. You know, we've traveled a lot all over the world and, you know, looking for other places where we may later want to settle and come back to Summit County. Um, coming through that tunnel is just really a nice feeling and you go, wow, yeah, there's a reason we live here. Exactly. You know, and that's, you know, and it's been just a wonderful place to raise a family and have a career and uh, be able to share it with all the people I've met over the years. And, you know, obviously with that kind of experience, you clearly know the, uh, the trends when it comes to, you know, the prices and the, the rates and everything like that. And so, you know a good deal when you see one, I'm guessing. And I keep saying this every, time, every Friday you have me in here and I keep harping on it. And I'm not trying to be a salesman, but I'm trying to be realistic. This is the best time to buy and it will not last forever. And we still have inventory and we've had a surplus, not a surplus, but an increase in inventory as we normally do seasonally, but we're about ready to peak around July 4th with our inventory. We have prices that are at historic lows that won't stay there forever. We're starting to see a hardening at the bottom on certain areas. And more importantly, um, the interest rates. The interest rates are at four or under right now. And you know, I guess I'm a little hard nosed with some of the people that say, is this as low as it's gonna go? When I bought my first house in 1981, I bought it at 19% interest. So, um, you know, whether it's four, 3.85, or four and a quarter, or four and a half, to me, it's just incomprehensible the kind of rates we're looking at right now. So realistically, with the rates that we're getting now, I mean, compared to what you were paying, it's almost very similar, I mean, to what, Absolutely. what you were paying if back you, then. If you, it's, it's almost the same or less. Um, wow. Because if you take the same price of the house that was 350000 or 300000 now, and it's at 4%, and you take the same house when I bought it at 100, 110,000 at 19%, the payment's the same. Wow. Um, and obviously, the income of most people since 1980 has gone up. Right. Um, so it's really people, you know, complain about the affordability index. Um, it's when you look at what it is, it's as we always say in real estate, it's price versus cost. And it's really what is really the real cost of the house is more important than what is the price of the house. Right now, your cost ratios or your cost affordability index are just unbelievable. They're at historic numbers. So you brought a property along with mm -hmm. you today. Yep. Uh, that wh what are we looking at? What's so what's so great about this particular property? This, this is such a unique property, and it's a summertime property. We waited to. We've had it for a couple months, but we wanted to bring it on during the summer because it um, sits high above the shores of Lake Dillon and has the view of Lake Dillon. And wow. it sits over, and um, it's a, basically it's a top floor unit in Marina Place, fourth building, so it has the elevator, two bedroom, two bath, been completely renovated, and underground parking, and you look right at the um, lake. 
It's, oh you know, it's your lakefront. And it's one of the unique ones in that it sits in a corner and it also looks at the town, but the way the building for it is designed and focused, it opens up to all of Lake Dillon. And it just gives you the broad view that you get a marina place as it opens up to Lake Dillon and it makes it really unique. There are not a lot of properties in Summit County like that and there are not a lot of properties in the country with that kind of view. Wow. You, I mean, you saw those pictures. They're absolutely gorgeous. Two bedroom, two bathroom, mm -hmm. and it's listed for three forty nine nine. And if people were interested in getting in touch with you to see this property or some of the other ones that you have listed, how would they go about doing that? The same way, again, I'm easy to reach. My cell phone is 389-7533. I'm reachable by email. If you don't want to call and talk, just send us an email at henryebar at gmail.com or go to the website, henryebar.com. Look on the MLS. It's a non-sign-in and you don't have to register. There's no capture. We won't get your name. We won't get your IP address or whatever. Just go on there uh, to your heart's content. Look up what's available. And when you're ready, send us an email saying you'd like to talk to somebody. And somebody will get back to you normally between the hours of about 6 in the morning to 11 at night, probably by email, probably within 5 to 10 minutes. Wow. Oh, my gosh. You guys definitely know what you're doing. 35 years of experience right here in Summit County. You can't beat it. Give, uh, give Henry or his team a call or an email if you're interested in looking at some of those properties, and specifically this one. This is a beautiful, beautiful. For, for this uh, person that wants lakefront, Summit County is so unique. It has probably one of the prettiest lakes front in the United States, and there's very limited property there because most of it is either U.S. Forest Service or Denver Water Board property or people that are holding on to their properties forever <laughs> so, and never going to give them up. All right, Henry, again, always a pleasure to oh, have you thanks here. thanks so much. And we're going to take another quick break here on Summit Sunrise. More coming your way on your Friday edition.